to 9 at 5. This steep increase has doctors and hospitals worried. But as of right now, the governor apparently has no plans for any new restrictions. And that is in direct contrast to what happened late last year when the same trend emerged. Let's get to Sean Lay live tonight. Sean, you pressed the state health director for answers on this. She was right here and she said shots, not shutdowns in her opinion. And the state's opinion right now is the way out of this COVID crisis. It certainly is a race against time with vaccines right now, especially given the presence of the variant in the state of Michigan. A race against time to vaccinate, but no restrictions coming from the state. The local four defenders asking the questions you want answered from Michigan Health Director Elizabeth Hertel. As positive COVID-19 cases skyrocket all around you, Hertel says the answer is vaccinations. We asked, is that a risky strategy. We have to keep an eye on these numbers. We know that and we're watching them very closely. But again, given all of the metrics working together, we believe that at this point we can continue forward on a vaccine strategy while maintaining all of the limitations that we have in place. Last November 15th, the state health department enacted an emergency order keeping restaurants, gyms closed, telling families to limit visits. How high do the cases need to go now before more action needs to be taken? We've loosened our restrictions on March 5th. Um, we continue to watch and get these vaccines in arms and we, we will continue to see where we got. And Governor Whitmer reminding that restrictions are still in place. A restaurant owner asking if we could lift the curfew because of the Michigan game last night. Unfortunately, Michigan didn't win, but the point still is that there's a lot of push and pull and what we need to do is double down on our masking and get more people vaccinated. Back here live, Devin Karen, you said it right off the top. A whopping 6,300 people testing positive in the state just today. Let's talk about where I am in Macomb County. 794 people tested positive on Monday, 611 on Tuesday. It's another reason why Sterling Heights opened what you see behind me, a new drive through vaccination clinic. It opened today here at Lakeside Mall where the Sears used to be, the old Sears lot here, and it was busy, but you have to have an appointment, macombgov.org, macombgov.org for an appointment here at this drive-thru clinic. Back to you.